Hi, my name is Sean Result, and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, we are going to be looking at how to change the form's color using code. So you can change the form color um, with the object inspector by going to um, click, clicking on the form, choosing fill, and then choosing color. Uh, let's for instance choose teal, and then we make, we make the kind to solid okay and then you can change the color here but now we want to change the color via code so let's learn how to do that so let's start by adding some buttons to the form i'm going to start off simple by just adding um three buttons Going to be quite large buttons. I'm also copying and pasting the buttons now, but I think it's better if you guys like um, don't copy and paste for now. Because you still have to learn again, again and get used to the IDE, which I am already used to. Okay. Now I have um, three buttons on the form. I'm going to be changing the font size of them. So I'm selecting all of them. And I'm changing the font to, for instance, 48. Then just changing the name of it. I mean the text. So that this one will be blue. This one will be black. And this one will be red. Okay, so to, to change the form color, we will basically be assigning um, a value to the um, form's color property here. And the color property is inside of the fill property. So, let's assign an on click event to this blue button. Let's name it FRM Blue. Okay, let's start by learning how to assign a value to a property. So, currently the name of the form is form one but you can change this for instance let, let's change this to um sean okay sean so the form's name is now sean as you can see here in the structure view so now we're going to be selecting sean and then selecting the fill and color here so sean dot fill dot color and here you see the color is part of the T alpha color um, record record so let's do that then we say colon equals and this basically tells the IDE that everything um, here everything here so if everything here will be assigned to this so let's say T alpha colors dot blue so, so, so what we are doing here now is we are we are assigning the blue color to the um, forms fill dot color. So if we compile now, and we click on blue, then you'll see that the forms color will change to blue. As you can see. So now let's go and do the black and the red as well. Black, we'll give it a on click of FRM black and we say Sean dot fill dot color colon equals the alpha colors dot black and same goes for the red one. Give it a event, we call the event FRM red and we say Sean dot fill dot oops not create i meant to say dot color colon equals t alpha colors dot red also keep in mind that this is actually called an assignment operator okay let's compile it's actually it's actually make the form full screen as well and then you can see here how the color changes depending on what button we click 
says guys that this was just 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 a basic basic tutorial on how to change the form's color and how to use an assignment operator. So um, I would like to to um, suggest suggest you guys to go and do some homework. Create a simple form with let's say twenty different buttons and colors, and then um, when you click on every button, the color must change. I will now also go and do the same on my form and just show you guys an example. Okay. Okay, guys, so I just finished uh, making this program. So here I have, I've got no idea how many, but it's just so I added 21 buttons with colors. So I hope you guys did the same. Um, it's good practice to do them. And if you go to the code, you'll see here are the code for every one of them. So let's compile and see how this program runs and works. Okay, as you can see, it seems to be working. So yes, guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope, I hope yeah, that you learned something. And yes. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If this video helped you in any way, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, you can go and check out my social media links here on the left side of the screen. And you can go and follow me on my social media. Also, guys, um... I would suggest that you guys follow along with my videos. Um, by that I mean, like, actually, if if you are a beginner, then I, then I suggest you follow along. But also, I'm um, opening Dalvi and just I'm um, doing exactly what I am doing, or at least paying very close attention. And that's basically it. So, yes, guys, thanks again, and I will see you. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.